Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus for Anthony. Um, sorry, I got the light on so we can see the computer better, so it's a little bright in my eyes. Anyways, let's look at the computer. Alright, so I said I would give an overview of the latest computer I've built. This is my Craigslist gaming budget computer. Um... No idea what the case is called. I already forgot. If I remember, I will put it in the link. Uh, uh, yeah. Brain fart. Link in the description for it. Anyways, it has a red glowing uh, front fan. We have easy to take off. Uh, five and a half, quarter inch drive covers. And as you can see, there is a uh, one of the hard drives in this computer. I mounted it with Velcro, a really, really heavy duty Velcro in that bay for a reason I will go over shortly. So anyways, let's uh, just power button, reset button, USB 2.0, USB 2.0, mic, and headset USB 3.0 port motherboard doesn't have USB 3.0 but it is there so I could get an adapter and make it USB 2 so I'd have three but I'm not worried about it DVD writer two more bays and as I said front fan does not have a filter that I've seen hold on oh actually before I take it off we can install two, uh, I believe, 120 fans on the side of the case. All right, it is one of the slidey uh, side panels that have the little hooks. And it's made out of decent quality metal. Not the greatest, but, I mean, it's a $30 case, so you get what you pay for. Alright, internals. So we have an RX 500 XT power supply. It is a 500 watt power supply. Uh, here we have the second included fan. It's just a red bladed fan, doesn't have LEDs. We have the Intel cooler with an i7-920 not overclocked 12 gigs of 1333 ram a 250 gig hard drive the burner there's the unused usb3 cord so we'll come down here right here uh is a an SSD a 60 gig force LS Corsair L SSD here is the EVGA GTX 480 okay so the reason I let me focus oh yes installed the hard drive up here is because my graphics card was too long for this case and the hard drive cage was right here. So what I did, is, as you can see here, is I drilled the rivets for that hard drive cage and got rid of it. It held three uh, standard hard drives, but for my situation, I needed to remove it so I could have this as my, uh, or so I can house my GPU. Uh, this case would have, er, I could have left that if my motherboard was more of a standard layout. So since it dropped down one, uh, expansion bay, it ran into the drive cage. If the, uh, PCI Express slot was one expansion bay higher this GPU would have barely missed it. So, 
if it was a more of a standard layout motherboard would have been just fine as you can see this is an evga x58 sli le it doesn't have that there but it is an le and we have one two three four pci express one pci uh, diagnostic LED uh, panel thing. There's six SATA ports, one, two USB headers, and two Firewire headers. Pretty sure they're Firewire 400. Then we have two fan headers, a CMOS reset, a power and a reset button, manufactured oh hey look manufactured after 18 august 2005 so it's a fairly old board if that's uh an indication of when it was manufactured uh there's the sound card and uh the multi-colored cable there is the front panel audio cord uh there's a look at the front fan it is a translucent red oh and my mistake as you can see it is filtered but it doesn't look like you can take the filter out sorry i never had the front of the uh case off because i couldn't get it off but it does look like it does have some kind of mesh filtering so that is good uh you can also install another 80 millimeter fan in the bottom Let's take a look at the rear I.O. Power supply. We have a PS2 for keyboard only. Two USB 2s. A reset CMOS. A SPDIF. Uh, coaxial and optical. Two more USBs. Two blank spots. Four more USBs and a gigabit Ethernet, and then your f massive, I don't know, 5.1 surround, I think. And then there is the output for the uh, GTX 480 video card, two DVI, and a mini HDMI, and then just blank plates. Uh, Let's take a look in this side. Boop -a ah. Same style side panel. Can get it to make a little bit of noise. But again, for a $30 case, what do you what do you expect? Uh, and there's the cable management. It's kind of just there. Massive cutout for the CPU. And I forgot to mention this. The side panel is beveled, uh, punched out uh, half an inch or so to allow more room for cables. So it fits quite nice on the side. Oh, and there is some uh, wire cutouts, but this motherboard's so big, it hides all of them except that one. And that one so whoo i do want to say sorry for all the fan noises if you can hear them it's quite warm in the house today and anyways this has been anthony also known as cryptic nexus forgot my own name uh if you like the video like it if you dislike then eh, you know what to do dislike please tell me why and, uh, yeah, hopefully you like this overview of the build. I think I covered it enough. If I didn't, please tell me, because it's hot and I'm not thinky-ready. Bye!